Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 17th day of January, 2010, on this Sunday edition. We're going to be live here for the next two hours. I'm here every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, back Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. That's 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have open phones as well later in the broadcast, later in the second half hour in to the second hour of the broadcast. I'll go ahead and give you that toll-free number, but again, we're not opening the phones up for about 30 minutes. 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. Here are the stacks of news I have in front of me. Obviously, you don't need me to tell you about what's happening in Haiti. It's a true tragedy. I myself have given to several uh, charities that already were in Haiti and uh, have also sent a bunch of our old shoes to a, a program and also some new shoes we bought uh, to the Haitians. Uh, I would caution people against giving to United Way and American Red Cross because they've been caught in Oklahoma City and 9-11 and other events keeping most of the money for themselves and giving it to anti-gun control groups. The London Guardian tried to distort what Rush Limbaugh was saying. You know, I'm not a big fan of Rush Limbaugh, fake conservative on most issues. But they distorted what he had to say, saying, oh, Limbaugh says don't give to the Haitians. That's not actually what he said if you read the article and listen to the clip. He said, oh, yeah, American Red Cross may give it to somebody else, which they do do. And so I do think you should give to the Haitians. This is a uh, disaster of biblical proportions. But you need to be careful about who you give to. And uh, throughout the week, as we did last week, I'll give you some examples of what we think are some uh, better charities. Uh, but, but basically, charities that have been in Haiti or in Latin America or in the Caribbean, Charities have a proven track record of actually helping people. That's who you should give to. But things are so bad there that they're reporting that, well, here's the CNN headline, security concerns cause doctors to leave hospitals and quake victims. Uh, that's out today. I mean, it's so bad. It's so uh, road warrior there, complete collapse. I mean, watching footage of a helicopter trying to come in to drop off aid and thousands rushing in trying to get it and, Children, men and women lined up begging for meager amounts of food given to them by the U.N. Uh, and uh, Argentinian uh, U.N. peacekeepers. And then uh, the majority of them going hungry and, and, and children fighting over cardboard boxes. It is truly nightmarish. So we need to be praying for the folks uh, there in Haiti, obviously, as well. But there's plenty of aid available. It's getting the aid into the country. And there's a lot of, of course, complaints that the military and the U.N. aren't getting it to them quick enough. Folks, government can't and won't protect you. It, 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 it's never able to. That's why we always talk about being prepared, being self-sufficient. Uh, that's your job uh, so that when disaster strikes, you're able to take care of yourself, your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Obviously, Haiti, the poorest country uh, in this uh, hemisphere, uh, poorest country uh, in the uh, Americas, uh, from Alaska down to uh, Chile, there is nowhere in North America, Central America, or South America, or the Caribbean as poor as Haiti. So it couldn't have happened uh, to a more, uh, a more, uh, well, well, it couldn't have happened to a worse nation. I mean, it, it, it just absolutely the perfect storm of humanitarian disaster. So you're welcome to call in about Haiti if you want. Uh, obviously, a thousand times worse than Katrina. I mean, this is just a human tragedy of uncalculable uh, proportions. You're welcome to call in about it, but I've got a bunch of other news I'm going to be covering after the break. Obviously, you've all heard Pat Robertson say that they made a deal with the devil, so they're being cursed. Uh, asinine. Those children don't deserve what has happened to them, regardless if you believe the fables. But even worse is Danny Glover saying global warming did this. I mean, what a fraud. Even if you believe man-made global warming, it has nothing to do, the atmosphere has nothing to do with tectonic plates and volcanoes and what's happening in the mantle and the crust uh, and the core of the earth. All right, coming up, the establishment of the Council of Governors, a Bush-era idea being carried out by Obama.